Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. Auntie Mabel is on the hot seat today again. <laughs> right, everyone. Um, if you welcome, welcome, those of you who are joining us live. And please, if you are watching this as a playback, as we know, it's not easy to get everybody together in the room at the same time. So if you are watching this as a playback, this is a live stream. So uh, from time to time, I'm going to be looking at the chat and I will try, I'm still learning on this gradually. I think I should be getting better now. I think this is about, uh, I can't remember the number of live stream I'm doing now, but obviously it's still taking me time to get used to it. So yeah. I can see about, um, uh, yeah, a few people already logged on. They are on here. So thanks all of you for joining us. Um, hello, fantastic Efe, 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 fantastic Efe, Efe, and lean on me with Christina, Christiana OKK. Thank you very much for being there, uh, for joining me so early. We are just waiting for a few more people to join us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just give me a minute. How do you join? I just need some people ask me to always send a reminder. Let me try and send a reminder to people. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah, good evening from Switzerland. Oh, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce your name. Lansky? Polanski. If I'm, if I'm close, please tell me in the, the chat. <laughs> and my sister, Christine, thank you for coming to support me. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting topic. Very, very interesting topic. Yeah. Please, if you've just joined us, click the like button. Click the like button. They said the create uh, awareness. I hope you guys are seeing or seeing me. Yeah, I'm just trying to look at the the chat, a few people have left. That's what they started joining us on the chat, which is nice. It's interesting. Yeah, we have a visitor from Switzerland. Oh, wow. Can you tell me in the chat how you got to know about this live streaming? It's nice to know where my audience are, how my audience are getting to hear about me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm going to be starting shortly. Yeah, let me just, let me send a reminder. There are some people who will always like to, like me to send a reminder. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a very interesting topic. Very interesting. Very, very interesting topic. And I'm really looking forward to it.
Right, right. If you are just joining us, please give it a like button. We're going to be starting shortly because we've only got an hour to discuss this topic and it's a very broad topic. Wow, wow. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Sheshe, help me send a reminder to your aunties. They are one of those people who get really busy. Oh, wow. You have you follow my ESA language channel. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Did I pronounce your name close, close at all? Lansky, Polanski, you, you, is there any other, oh wow, Osinachi, thank you very much for joining me again, right, oh wow, that's a great compliment, thank you, Lansky, Polanski, oh no, my real name, ha <laughs> ha, cheeky, can you tell me your real name please, and to be able to light your coffee for my name, I take my guests very seriously, you know, <laughs> yeah, please tell me your name so I can call you by that name. Why are you giving Auntie Mabel so much work to do? Yeah, for now, Lowski Polinski. She says, he said, oh, either he or she. Let me know if you are a male or female. That that's not not his, not their real name. That's how the Englishman would say it when you don't know the <laughs> when you want to be plural uh, to be generic. So follow follow your Asian language channel. You are a great teacher with valuable content, just appreciating and learning. My kids are Swiss and South African. Oh, wow, that's great. Thank you. You see, that's the point. Asian language is a minority language in Nigeria. We don't want it to go extinct. So we need to try and uh, put it out there in the world map. Oh, thanks, Jane. Thanks for joining me again. Lowski, Polanski, please tell me your real name. <laughs> Don't give me this harmful, uh, mouthful name to pronounce. Tell me your name. Have you believe it? Comment for me in the, on the ESA language channel. Oh, wow. You said, oh, okay. Lu Luana. Is that close? Luana. Just give me a thumbs up if it's close. Luana. That's, that's a lovely name. It's a beautiful name. So you said you are Swiss. Your, children, your kids are Swiss and South African. Okay. So you decide to learn one of you decide to learn one of those Nigeria ethnic minority language. Up, up for you. Thank you. Thank you for learning my language. I'm really proud of you. Oh wow, you said that's correct. Okay, it's Hawaiian name. Oh wow. That's strange. So Joe, so you you sat, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just making this all about you. Please bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to very get and to make one get get interested in what people when it comes to language and cultural heritage. It just it's just one area I'm so passionate about. I just can't help myself. <laughs> oh wow. Anyway, people can live in any part of the world and decide to give another name from other parts. Because as I know some parents see names on the movie uh, and actress or so, they just decide to give the name to their children, don't they? Wow, so it's, it's a Hawaiian name. Oh, wow. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's nice to welcome everybody back here to, the, to another uh, uh, beautiful language, another, another topic, another very topical topic. <laughs> it's a very topical topic, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to send a reminder to a few people, then we will start. Because it's not always possible when everybody is busy. So it's not always possible to get everybody together. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just sending people a gentle reminder. As you know, I'm still I'm still a small YouTuber, so I need to start. I need to to be working hard to publish 
Yeah, it's correct. Thanks. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah. I need to stop. I need to work hard to, 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 pro, to, to promote my channel. Even the big ones, they still promote themselves, not to talk of which just uh, up and coming ones, small ones, very small ones. Yeah. So please continue to leave me comments when you see, when you watch my Asian language channels. And all these other things I'm talking about at the moment. I'm obviously, uh, is it your partner? Luana, sorry I'm making this all about you. Is it your partner that is uh, South African? And you are, who is Swiss? Who is South, Af South African? So just for me to know if what we are talking about, if you can, if it resonate with you at all. I'm going to be starting shortly. Yeah, yeah. Right. Are we ready? Are we ready to start? Are we ready? Oh, wow. Ebo Niger Mama, you managed to show make appearance. I'm always so proud of you. With all the data and all the, the light issues in Nigeria, you always try. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. So now you are here, Ebo Niger Mama. I'm going to start. Some people have come and some people have come in, some are going. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully. Um, we should get some more people to join us in a minute. So this is a very, very topical topic. So I'm going to give you a bit of jingo, jingo again. <laughs> my usual, my usual ESA language, ESA language girl. <laughs> my usual ESA language dance, a dance entrance dance. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very important topic and it's a serious one. But sometimes, you know, I always say that even if it's a serious topic, we should still try and. Uh, make it uh, as lively and as interesting, as lighthearted as possible. Oh, wow. Luana, you saw my interview with Ebo Niger Mama. Thank you. You really, you really committed to my channel. Please, next time, let me know. Why you leave me comment so that I recognize you. I can, I can acknowledge you. Ebo Niger Mama, I'm back with your hot water again that you recommended. So yeah, today so that my throat can stand, stand the conversation. Right, everybody, you know what you can do for me? Try and start putting it on the, in the comments, uh, in the chat. What you think about this topic? What is your view? Because last week, those of you who were here, we, we did um, the plight of the gay child, and I followed that with an interview I did with a young lady who had experience of growing up in mostly all guest home who had only a brother. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, and I also did a collaboration with her where we did an interview on her channel where she interviewed me, my plight of growing up in a home where we had lots of uh, boys. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I'll go back to the chat to the chat in a minute. So let me just do this uh, opening introduction. Then I'll go back to the chat from time to time. I must remember to try and read out the messages on the chat because sometimes I'll just read it and start responding. So that's something I'm trying to grow on and improve on. So, so the the when after doing that topic and after having the after having the collaboration with with my with a Jennifer who's another YouTuber as well. So uh, we did a collaboration, and, and she gave the, her experience of being a girl growing up in a home which was a mostly guest, uh, guest, um, mostly, uh, mostly more more guests than boys. There were five of them, and she, her brother was the only boy who was in the middle, who was the third child. So there were two two boys before him and two boys after him, and Jennifer happened to be the fourth child. And also the the interview she did. She interviewed me on her channel. Why I told I gave her the experience of me growing up. At the time I was growing up in my family, I was a midst of eight boys. I have three older boys, although I have two older sisters, and I have two, I have three old, young older brothers before myself. So I was a sixth child in the family. So don't, it's not only one woman who gave birth to all those number of children. So don't panic. <laughs> so yeah, and I had. I think I have about five brothers that were younger than me. They were, 
Julian. It's two, two from one mother, one from another mother, and two from my mother. So there were five boys who were younger than me before the other girl was born. So yeah, and I had five, four, three that were older than me. And in the midst of all of that, we still have a lot of male cousins, although female cousins, but mostly male, male cousins who were here and there, who were also coming, who were part of the family who was growing up. So my experience was slightly different, but it wasn't just when we analyzed, when, she, when Jennifer interviewed me, it actually enabled me to unpick. It was really nice. It was really refreshing for me to be able to kind of reminisce in my childhood. So it got me thinking. So today I was supposed, because that day, because it's only an hour, I'm trying to keep the live stream to an hour now, just sometimes just a little bit an hour, over, over an hour. I decided, uh, we decided we didn't, I didn't kind of finish, we didn't finish the whole talk. But I was thinking of doing part two of the plight of the gay child. But while I was reflecting as we content creators, if I can call myself that now. <laughs> Oh my goodness, people. I don't even know whether I will say I'm a YouTuber or content creator. Okay, I try to create content in one way or the other. I, actually, people have been acknowledging that my, my content is quite educating. I'm very versatile, so I'm very relate, relatable. I'm very, very important topic and informative topic. So, yeah. So, thank you. I'll go back to the comment section in the, uh, the chat in a minute. So, when we were not talking, when I was reminiscing, as well as when Jennifer was interviewing me, it got me thinking, and even when I was interviewing Jennifer as well, the plot of her brother, what eventually happened, I hope I'm still bright enough because sometimes when I rewatch these videos, I can be very dark on the live stream, um, live streaming. So yeah, I'm using one of the lights. The light is supposed to be coming from the outside sunshine coming from the outside but it's coming and going so i just watch and see um, i might need to plug in this other light well i'm fine thank you very much it depends on the some of the some of the things i'm watching it or sometimes it can be a bit dark okay i'm sure it could just be the gadget i watch it back on or sometimes <clears throat> oh thank you very much thank you Oh, okay, a bit dark man okay yeah that's what i'm saying it depends on what gadget you are watching it on let me just add one more light just to be on this on the same because this one you can't edit it. Once you do the live stream, you just have to put it out there like that. So I'm just going to add another light to this or that side. Okay. Is there any better? Let me know if it's any better now than it was before. I've added one more light to my left hand side where the sun is coming from. Oh, that's my lovely plant. Do you guys like my plant? I got that for my bed in April, so I've been rocking it on my videos. It's real life plant, you can see it. All the flowers are bloomed now. So I don't know how long, I, I try to look after it and water it, I'm not sure how long I can keep it for. Yeah, I'll show it today actually, let me show it. No, it's not showing me anymore. It's more important, me or the plant. <laughs> and Timevo can be childlike sometimes. It's good to be childlike, Bo. I beg, you can't take life too seriously. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Let's go back to the topic now. So I'm going to read some of the chat. So yeah, the point is, when I was reminiscing and tried to plan this part two, as you know, we do prepare though. Don't, don't, don't just think we just come here and start chatting. You put to make the thumbnail. It takes time to try and build up the thumbnail. So when I was thinking about it, I was going to make part two of the get child. It was only done on me that when Jennifer was talking, I actually realized her brother was a victim. Yeah, it wasn't just uh, it, it, because of this, this boy child, boy child emphasis on the boy child. Sometimes it can actually make the boy a victim as well. And not even to talk of the dad. So, and I, I'm not trying to excuse them, but having been a parent who raised three, uh, three adult children, it takes the grace of God to be a good parent or at least to come out for your children to come out relatively okay. I know one of my child is on this screen at one on the channel. She she does tell me though that I did a good job. Yeah, I, there are areas I could have done better, as we all know. We are not perfect parents. So yeah, that is why I'm trying to use my platform to be a voice now to make parents who still have young children at home to try and learn from our mistake. As I always say, my motto now is although it's good, they say learn is experience is the best teacher, it's even better to learn from the mistakes of others. Don't wait to make your mistakes. 
There are so many of us who've made some mistakes who you have to learn from. So don't repeat your one, just learn from us. And so also people like me, I'm also learning, although I'm a more mature lady than a grandma, I'm also learning now for, oh, those who have retired, how are they enjoying their life? Are they really, do they just walk, walk, walk? And when they don't go to retirement age, they have nothing left to even retire into. They are just like burnt out and too sick to even enjoy their retirement. So we always learn. I'm learning from those people and I'm also learning how to be a good grandmother because I'm such a proud grandmother. <laughs> As I tell people, I'm glad I sneaked into it quickly, quickly in my 50s. So I'm so happy to, for that. So I need to enjoy it as much as possible when I still have the stamina to run around with my grandson. So anyway, so let me try and go to the, to the, I'll go to the chat in a minute, but before I do that, so that actually got me thinking, I feel, oh, Mabel, don't just concentrate on the plight of the girl child, have a balanced view because the boy child also can be a victim in all of this. Sometimes we can put them so much on the pedestal that they, sometimes they are so spoiled that they don't even know how to do anything for themselves. Like the example of, if you don't, if you haven't watched that video, go and watch the, I think it's like my last video actually, I think we posted around Wednesday this week. So it's the last video where I said uh, the plight of the girl child, no, the, I said the girl child and, and I said the plight of the girl child who grew up um, in almost all girls' family, that's the title. So if you haven't seen that video, please go and say it, watch it. So please, those of you who've just joined, I know some people are coming and going, as I understand, because not everybody's available all the time. Please, if you haven't clicked the like button, please click it, yeah? So let me just quickly go the, to the to the chat now. Yeah, so thank you very much, Mary May TV, for supporting me again. I'm so I'm so proud of you. That's another of my essence sister. I came across YouTube Street. You see, it's not just about being on YouTube now. I'm, I'm gathering all my Asian sisters left, right, and center all across the, uh, the globe. That Mary May is an Asian sister who lives in um, Austria. So you never know, once the pandemic is all over, I have a lot of places to visit now, have free accommodation. <laughs> I just buy my ticket and run off. Anyway, so let me try and welcome all the people that have come. Yeah, uh, uh, Ebo Mama said when I was talking about me, whether I'll call myself a content creator. Yeah, you said uh, uh, very good content. Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing my best. There were a lot of things buried in there that uh, I've been thinking about for so long. So this has given me a lease opportunity to release to let them all out in the in the in the open. So yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, right. Um, Luana. Luana, you said your Luis is not really your, your real name. Thank you very much for letting me know that. So thank you for commenting, commending me and Ebo Niger Mama uh, channel um, collaboration to uh, the video we did together. So yeah, you say your husband is Molo and oh my goodness, maybe Moweni to everyone. Oh Mowe and Moweni to everyone. So, oh, oh my husband says Molo and Moweni to everyone. Okay. Yeah. That must be South African terms, I guess. So, you know, we are all West African. Okay. Majority of us here are Nigerians and West Africans. So, yeah. Right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Pardon me, please. Please hit the like button. I have to remind you again if you haven't yet. Right. Um, Isheshe said, I think gender roles are worldwide. It is just more intense in Nigeria. That's right. That's correct. You are right. Yeah. It's really worldwide. Yeah. We touched about, we touched a little bit on it last time. And what do you guys actually think of what I'm wearing today? I'm always making a phone for you guys. <laughs> and you know what? I was invited as a guest speaker, one of a Nigeria community program today at 3 p.m. So I was a man. I was a panel. I was on the panel, so I just have to try and dress at least to to suit the purpose. And also something I think. Oh, I said I might as well just do something that will be ready for me to start this uh, live uh, streaming. So I know we're going. No, we we finish around five thirty. So I just yeah. So tell me what you think about my dressing. I'm making effort for you guys, so you should. Yeah, I know you always comment and acknowledge me. Yeah. So yeah, it's never too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one who can talk, so I must well do all the all the bragging. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mabel. Yeah. Um uh then the said again the expectation to be strong and leader of the home. 
and community. Yeah, it's true. That that can be a bit. That can be a lot of pressure on the male child. Uh, depend. Uh, also, that you said, depend on the family. The boy child. The boy child could be either or, or both. Yes, they could be either. Yeah, you are right. The question is, uh, if those of you saw, you saw the title or the thumbnail. So the boy child is he is he a hero or a victim? So he, Osinachi's view is that depending on the home the boy child is raised, they can either be a hero or a victim. Yes, I agree with you. So we need to dis discuss it so that we try and prevent it. If you have a brother who is already a victim or either a victim or a hero, so you go away from here today. That's the aim of this discussion. We go away from here today. I know how to support them. Our brothers could already be an adult and grown up. So but if we are raising our sons, sons in our family, or you're an auntie to a boy child in your family, on an uncle, so then you should know uh, the discussion things we are going to discuss today should help you to be a better auntie to them, a better uncle to them, a better parent. She, she also said, but not everyone can lead. And also it seems in Nigeria, in Nigeria culture, there is only one way to lead. Yeah, it's true. That's that's true. So we try and we try and discuss this a little bit for uh, in, in more details. Um uh, yeah, okay. Jane Aloja said you look great. So I think when I was probably talking of the lighting, yeah. Nice plant. Oh, yeah, everyone I jam on my thank you. You're so good at typing. All of you actually, I can have to commend you. I'm old school. Typing on chat takes me forever when I'm when I'm in a live chat. So I commend all of you for being so on point. Yeah, the plant. I showed the plant plant a little bit. Those who joined a bit later, I show I show my plant. Those who watch my video, you see that plant at the back. It was my it was my birthday plant I got as a gift. So I've been nurturing it. It's there behind me. Most of my videos, the plant you are showing there at the moment, I've been nurturing and watering it. I'm trying to preserve it for as long as possible. Yeah. Uh, Mary May TV, thank you very much for joining us. Ebo, Mama, good evening, sis. Thank you. Yeah, that's my sister, my Asian sister from Austria. I've acknowledged you before. Ebo Najama, good evening, Mary May. Okay, you are greeting Mary May. Yeah, that's another sister. I actually got to know sister, um, uh, Mary May from uh, Ebo Najama. Chan, you see this? Chan is a small word. Uh, yeah, Mary May TV said we are fine. God bless. Yeah. Okay, Luana said, Go to toddler. This will be interesting. Oh, well, wow, really good. So, I guess are they boys or girls? Then, uh, Ebo Niger Mama, I guess, uh, you also busy. You're so busy, us in Nigeria. Okay, I didn't quite get that. So, I'm sure you know this typing sometimes they can go before. I mean, visit. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, you corrected yourself. Thank you very much. You know, sometimes this, uh, whatever they call this, they are. They are typing. Once you are typing, sometimes you put the words in before you, once you already click enter, before you realize uh, it's not what you meant to say. Yeah, I will, oh, I visit Nigeria a lot. Oh, even Nigeria, mama. I, I have a lot of people to visit in Nigeria now. Oh, thank you, Luana. You said I look amazing. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, Evona, you look you. Thank you. Thank you. Show the whole. Oh, my God. <laughs> You want me to show the whole dress? I'll show the whole dress next time. The place where I'm able to do this thing very well, where the lighting is right, where I'm ready to go. I can't really show the whole dress at the moment. I'll show it next time. Or you know what? I'll take I'll try and get a photo where it's showing up. I'll, I'll put it on. I can't really edit this one. Next time, next time. Yeah. I'll show the whole dress next time. Uh, because if I'm showing the whole dress, I won't be seeing my head anymore. It will look funny a bit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Mary May said, you look good. Thank you, Mary May TV. Luana said, we will love to visit. Thank you. Oh, we will love to visit. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, you will love to visit Nigeria. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, Christiana, Sister Christine, thank you. It's a very good plant. Oh, thank you. I have I have mine since February. Oh, wow. In my, oh, in my birthday, mine is blue. Oh, wow. So it will last for long. They only got mine in April. Oh, thank you, Temi Best Kitchen. Thank you for joining us. If you just join us, please hit the like button. Hit the like button. The like button has been 11 on 11 for a while now. So those of you just join, if you haven't, pardon me, pardon me, guys. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, Luana. Oh, boy, and again, that's great. Oh, thank you, Temi Beckett's Kitchen. Thanks for supporting me to support me. Oh, wow, Jennifer, <laughs> my adopted daughter. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. All my YouTube uh, sister, younger sisters and daughters are appearing and showing their, their faces. So, or showing themselves on chat. It's a shame. Look, I wish I can do a place where I can ask you guys on this uh, join. The, ask you to join the stream. I think it's when they say when you do stream yard. I'm still learning how to do that. I think uh, probably when I get monetized. And uh, but guys, as you are all here, you remember those who haven't watched my birthday wish list. Go and watch it and see. And remember what I said there. I'm still. I'm still fighting. I still have to Wednesday to get as many. Subscribers as possible. I think when I check today, we are on about anybody who can tell me, just type it there because I can't remember. I think it's about let me not go and lie about it. I can't I can't remember. I think it is about 800 and something, 867 or 68, something like that. So we still have about 100 and something to go. And I'm now about 3,000 something watch hours. So I still have about a thousand watch hours to go. So if you all go away and start watching my there's a, my live stream videos there. So if you start watching them, the live stream, I mean, there's some 11 hours. So if you start watching them, then I could be able to hit that. Oh, wow. Thank you. You see, it's gone down again. The last time I checked was 866. This, this YouTube, they're so crazy. They just take all your subscribers. They don't know what we, how hard we work to get even one subscriber. And they just start taking it back and forth as they like. I don't know. It goes up, some goes down. I'm sure some of you are that content creator. You must you must notice it as well. I don't know why what they what they do, why they do that for. Anyway, sorry for me ranting. <clears throat> we are 30 minutes now. Let me try and, and address this topic. Sorry, I know some of you must be getting patient with me. I need to try and look at the chat and make sure I acknowledge my guests and look at what you guys are saying in the chat. Oh, can you ask your province or possibly to fund your channel because you do a lot of, oh, to present. I'm in the UK. <laughs> they don't, I don't think they have time for YouTubers in the UK. I don't think for people like that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I think it's when you get somewhere, when you become less. So there's somebody invited me as a panel. So they, they saw my content. It was good, you know. That was about about Nigeria, raising Nigeria, raising children in the diaspora. That's what they were talking about. They invited me as a panelist, so it was good to be able to share my views there. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming. And please keep hitting the like buttons as you as you join us. Oh, Bibiche Lifestyle. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> right. Let's let me try and address this now. So the point is, we we kind of agree in a way that the boys in a family can also become a victim or can either be a victim or can be a hero. How can we create a hero out of a boy child? And also a girl child as we talk about it as well. So first of all, I think what I really want to talk to us, mothers, fathers, aunties, uncles, cousins, who is the, any other, any old person in a child's life, Let's try and look at that child and see what the child's gifts are, what their talents are, rather than just treating them, raising them. Just I'm not saying their gender shouldn't be acknowledged. I'm not. I'm not against. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. I know there's this school of thought now that say, oh, it should be polarity or whatever. That's not what I'm saying. That's not part of our culture. So, but the point is, when you are raising a boy child, look at that child. First of all, and, and we need to demystify this idea. Oh, it's the only boy. It's the only boy. It's the only boy. It can get in their head sometimes, you know, and sometimes it can even make them to become so wayward, to become so lazy, and not to take life seriously. And before the parents blink, it, 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 the gap to make a child, to make something out of a child, be it a boy, be it a girl, especially today, let's focus on the boy child, actually, especially boys that either oh, it's my first son, or it's the first child, it's my first son, it's my first son, or it's the only boy. We really, really have to be mindful of that. And those of you who has young children at home, try to make sure that you inculcate in your boys that it is important to be, to be disciplined. First of all, every boy should know how to cook. 
especially some I see see it in I said I said it in my last in my last live stream or in one of my videos. I see see a lot of parents in the UK or in our, even in Nigeria make this mistake of turning their daughters as the one who does all the, the chores in the house, who will do all the cooking, and their boys don't even know how to boil a kettle to make a cup of tea. So you are doing that child a disservice. Because this, even if what kind of father are you raising your son if you just make them sit there and they don't do anything? And this goes to the fathers, as we say, shame, the fathers don't always turn up on this live streaming. But I know some of them do watch my watch my videos afterwards because they comment and they, they do info, they do leave me comments and some of them even say all oh, the nice topics and stuff like that. So what I'm trying to say, especially the, the men as well, the fathers or uncles in this boy's life, lead by example. I know some of you happen to grow up in an era in homes where you were not taught to do anything. You were not, you didn't even know how to learn, do anything. You were one, if you are one of that boy that was carried on, put on the pedestal, learn from your own experience that you've not become a victim. You've become so lazy that even especially when they come to Bodo Imbo, you know when they come to, I know some of you, uh, Luan, I have to be mindful now when I'm using my Nigeria slang, but Bodo Imbo is, is abroad, outside of Africa. You find that such men cannot, that's part of the biggest problem we have in marriages in the UK. I know some people will always say, oh, Nigerian women, when they come to the UK, it gets into their head, it gets into their head. Sometimes some of the men, the way we raise them in Nigeria, some of them, some men come to this abroad with that same mentality. Men don't enter kitchen, men don't do laundry, men don't do anything. That's a woman's job. And they forget what I always say, people. When you were living at home, when men did when men didn't do anything in that same home, even if in Nigeria, even people who cannot afford a housemate, they always have a younger sister or somebody who lives with them. Who will help that your mother when they were raising you? But in the UK, even if your wife is even a stay-at-home mom, they have to do all these chores by themselves. It's not easy raising children. And when you leave these children for this men for even five minutes, they're already crying. Oh, when are you coming back? When are you coming back? So we really, really have to be mindful how we raise the boys in our lives. Parents, how we raise the boys. Make sure you teach your boys to do the chores. And above all, let them know the importance of doing those chores. Is doing it for themselves. As the child, as that boy child, what do you want to be in the future? What are you planning to become? Please leave me, leave me, uh, child, leave me comment in your chat. What do you think about this? What are your examples you have in your life? How are you raising your boys? How was your brothers raised? Are they the, 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 the way they are, your brothers were raised in your home? Has it made them victims? Has it made them heroes? Please, don't let me do all the talking. I'll go back to the chat in a minute to see what you guys are saying. So, please, those of you who have even teenagers, because if you don't, what kinds of, what kind of fathers or uncles or what, even, even, if, let me take away the father, whether they choose to be, have children in the future or not. When they leave home, you know, in the UK, the first, you don't really expect your children to leave at home until they even get married or they decide to move away. Or even if they, they will move away one day, you don't really want them to live with you forever, do you? It means you are not, you, we prepare children to fly the nest. That's what, is it painful? I have to tell you, all my three have flew the nest. It's painful when they leave. They say, Joy, when my daughter got married and moved away, even from London, moved far away to outside London with her husband, it is, others were painful, but it's a thing of joy. And I'm still when I'm when I we, before COVID, it's a thing of joy for me to go go there and visit and play the role of a grandmother, and be able to take some pressure off them. So sometimes, like when when they celebrate their birthday or anniversary, they, I take time off work, book my leave work, and go and spend a week look after my grandson while they go off to somewhere to go and take holiday. I'm glad I'm able to do that. But day to day, what kind of grandchildren do you want your sons to raise? If you are not preparing them, and in the UK is very common, the first point of call is that when people at the age of 18 or thereabout, people go to uni. Do you know when these boys go to uni, they become so useless? They can't manage their student loan. People will say, oh, they give their loan in the UK. But it's still a it's still loan you have to pay back. It's loan you have to manage. Some don't even know how to do grocery shopping. And when they go to uni, 
the money they give them for three months because they pay them this student loan or whatever the year student loan they don't get grant anymore. The student loan they pay them is meant to carry them from uh, September, October to December, three months. You know, some of them by the by the end of one month, all the money is gone because you didn't teach them any budgeting. A boy who has never done grocery shopping, who has never cooked a pot of stew or cooked a pot of pasta. All you they manage to do, maybe even when they are home, even to even bring pizza out from the oven, frozen oven food to bring it out from the oven and bring it out from the freezer and put it in the oven. They don't know how to do it. They will leave it to their sister to do because they are boy child. Then you send them off to uni. That's you you turn them into a victim. They are a victim. They are a victim of your poor parenting. So parents really need to know. These children, we are turning them to we are turning them, making making them a victim of our poor parenting. So let me just look at the look at the chat in a minute. So yeah, um, tell me basically she said, yes, so mama, me, I'm tired though. It's true. I know what you're talking about. Because some of our men, even when they are good at cooking, they come, they said, Oh, I don't because tell them when they were when they were children, when they were living by themselves. Some of them lived by themselves for years before they get married. But as soon as they get married, they made themselves redundant. One person can't do it all. Even back home in Africa, they say in Nigeria, they say it takes a village to raise a child. Here and now, you want your wife to do it all by themselves. You can see what's going on in the street with our, our black boys. It's lack of home training. They don't, they haven't got they haven't got any fulfillment in their lives. We really need to do something about this and re redress and address it now before it's too late. Right. Okay, let me just look back there. Bibiche, Bibiche, uh, Bibiche Lives. I say hello, Auntie Mabel. Thank you, Bibiche. Well, you are welcome. Thank you for coming to support me at uh, Miss Becky's Kitchen, like my brother, obviously. And please, try and if, if you still have access to him or whatever, wherever he is, if you can teach him, try and do something about it when they live with you. Yeah. So, yeah, Luana said it was a process with my hobby. He is listening to. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, Luana's hobby. Thank you for listening. How he does the laundry. He can cook. Oh, now, now he does the laundry. He can cook. And he leads by example for our son. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Luana and Sir Hobby. I'm really proud of you. Well done. You should talk to your men as well. Another thing I think men, not you men, you really be talking to your fellow men. When men gather around, especially typical Nigerian, Nigerian men, when they gather around, the thing they boast about, I'm sorry, not all of them. I have to put a disclaimer there. It's not always all of them. Some of them. What they boast about is the things they don't do in their home. Oh, you do that. I Me, mean, I don't do anything in my house. So it's a woman's job. You know, and that's your, your son copy what they see. Children, uh, children learn more from what they see than what they do. Uh, what you teach them, I mean, what you tell them to do. It's not what they say, what you say, say to them to do. It's what you do that they will copy. Right. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Luana's hobby. Th thanks for listening to my, to my live stream. I'm really, I'm proud of you both. Yeah. So yeah, I have another place of another people to visit in Switzerland now. <laughs> Auntie Mabel, I wonder how you'll be able to get around all these countries. Never know. Don't worry, I have plans for my retirement. I wish I could retire early <laughs> and just have all the places to jet to every holiday. Yeah, Luana said the kids can be grateful to have you as your grandma. Oh yeah, thank you. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I will be glad. I will, I will. I will. I'll be glad to adopt as many grandchildren as possible. <laughs> Osinachi, so many opportunities that some girls could excel at goes to some boys who end up ruining it, and vice versa. It's true. The sex of the child shouldn't determine the role a child should take. It's true. Definitely shouldn't. It should be the skill. Look at the talent of that child and encourage them to do what they have to do. But it's a mistake we make in Africa home. You will, you will, you will so the the girls that are so intelligent and so brilliant, they will not even train them properly. And even if they manage to send them to university, they will still decide what they will do. Although but some people will always look at the, the numbers, some it's changing. But like I said in my life live stream or in my in my video I did with Jennifer. It's a tiny percentage. Look at the overall. I have to, I want us not to be selfish. 
I'm not just think of our, oh, I managed, I got to uni, I went to uni. The narrative is changing. We have to acknowledge that things are better than it used to be. So please, if you just join us, can you hit the like button for me, please? It creates momentum. Yeah. I will just acknowledge those who've joined us just now. Thank you. Thank you, Carol Suji. Thank you, all of you. Yeah. And um, thank you, Pate Yaba. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining, for joining me. So, yeah, we really have to be mindful. From when our child is young, and, and let me tell you one thing. Those of you who are growing up in abroad, you see, have your young, even those in Nigeria, I have to be mindful. Not everybody's in your Bodo Imbo. There are people in Nigeria here. Let us start taking note of this. Encourage your children. If it's football, they're interested in, I'm not even saying when extracurriculum activities on Saturday, if they are going to play football, be there with them. You are your husband. The wife shouldn't do it alone. It's another task. Even some men, men are supposed to be able to play football, but you'll be surprised no Bodo Imbo. You go to football to watch your children play or to practice. It's only the mo black mothers you will see there. But meanwhile, the white ones you will see, both father and mother will be there. Maybe grandparents will even be there. I know some of us don't have the grandparents here. It's understandable. But there's no reason. I know some people have to work at weekend, but it's not always work. You can plan it on Saturday. You can plan if you really want to be there. My people have a parable. It's something you don't want to do. That's why you give an excuse why you can't do it. If something you really determined to, you can reinforce your time. People will respect it. Even parent evening, you know, Bodo Imbo, Parent evening is very important. Go to parent evening. Eighty percent of the mother of the of the boy child or the of the of the black children is only mother that will be at the parent evening. It's only once in you know, only very few percentage you see both parents at parent evening. It's very important. You are parenting together. Hmm? So yeah, that determining their role of as a child. Let's let's take that away. Every child needs to be able, it's, it's, a, it's a legal duty, it's, it's even a it's, a, it's a, it's a human right for a child to be able to fend for themselves, for a child to be able to do their laundry. Are you even sure? Who are you even leaving out those tax if you don't train your boy child? Do you even know the kind, there are guests that don't know how to do anything. Even those who grew up in Nigeria, there are Jebota children in Nigeria who we call in the Udomi generation. They don't know how to cook all their life. Their, their, their house get, did everything for them. And sometimes you now go and your, your son might go and end up with those guys because oh the girl uh, the girl is beautiful or I fell in love with her or because the, the guest family have money, you know there are so many reasons now that boys want to marry those girls, and who are you leaving that tax for? It's a human right for your child to be able to fend for themselves, wash themselves, wash their clothes, cook their own food, good healthy food for that matter. It's not just bring a pizza from the freezer to the oven or pour them in the pot and just mix it up. Or all the delivery is take away. We are doing them a disservice. Yeah, Carol Suji, thank you. Um <laughs> but a year for a retire earlier. I wish I could, my dear. I wish I could. <laughs> Uh, that's my prayer. That's my prayer. I really want to retire early because we've worked so hard. This opportunity, hmm, that's a video for another day. If we tell you the, the kind of hustle we have on this opportunity, uh, 30 years ago, when it's not even some of you who come now, you at least you have the wing of other people to come in on. It's not, it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. Oh, my goodness. Right. <laughs> Oh, uh, but uh, yeah, but where are you based again? I can't remember. Remind me. I think I've I've watched a few of your videos. You know they're quite. You know my adopted younger sisters now, and and adopted children. Some of you are even old. In, you are you are you are as young as my daughter, or younger than my daughter. So you can pass for my daughters, da daughters. Yeah. So anyway, I can't remember where you are. Okay. The narrative is changing, train both children. Yeah, it is changing, but it's not changing fast enough. You see, not changing is on home. This is why we need to shout it out loud and loud, loud and clear. Yeah, it is changing to some, it's better than our time. I was fortunate to grow up in a home where my dad told the boys to do things. Yeah, I said, um, if you don't have to say that, we can watch Jennifer's interview of me, how my dad used to tell my younger, my senior brother, say, when you now get a job in Benin, 
Go and grow up in a home, obviously, you know, in a do state. So you so tell if you get a, a job in Bini or Lagos or in any of the cities, are you going to take maybe and your mother with you to be cooking for you? You have to learn to cook. You know, the boys in my family, they can cook. They learn to cook. And my dad, you can imagine that that man of that generation, he died in 2004 at 80, 82. So he was really, really proper that old school. He didn't get everything right, like I keep telling people, but he did, he did try in that end. And training our girls guests too, but it was a it was a debate still. I still mentioned that in Jennifer's uh, interview on you know, her channel. So anyway, let me try and look again. I want to go back to the to the chat now. Luana, you said that there is more pressure on boys as to what a man supposed to be, and it is not easy because there is not too many. There are not too many positive. Du duplication or depiction, no depiction, depiction, depiction of black man or boys, especially for boys in diaspora. It's true. I agree with you. But, but they are trying in Nigeria community in the UK. With there are a lot of men who are in very good position. Yeah, but it's this idea of the role of the role. But uh, the narrative is changing, but there's still a lot. We still have a lot of us still need to be done. This is the reason why I'm using my platform to shut it out there. Yeah. Work, work, but our children confess. It's true. Our children confess. We really need to try and balance it. Having child and having that time with your children is essential. It's very important. Having because uh, the, the child mother cannot raise your children for you. In as much as some of us didn't have a choice, you still have to make up for that time. I think my daughter can bear me witness. I think she was here before. I don't know if she's still here. I used to make the time on Saturday morning. You see me, I wake up 5 a.m. I'll do all the cooking and cleaning. Then we, our Saturday afternoon was always picnic. It doesn't have to be expensive. I would just take this picnic bag. We go to the local park. They play in the string and whatever. When they were very little, that's what I meant. When they were very young. And she used to still remember those days, those parts of the time we did picnic together, as well in the summer months. Even summer holidays and half term, I used to body up with a, a friend who was my daughter's godmother. So every 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 half term, I would take like two days off. She would take two days off. Other days they will they will go to they will go to they, well, we had a very good uncle who was running summer club for them and a Nigerian young man who they still remember today. I still remember the guy, and whenever I see him, I still remind him. So there are a lot of ways you can tap into the community resources. We have, don't have to do it by what I say it takes a village to raise a child. There are still Nigerian villages in the community, just you identify. And if there is no where you live, you start something. You know, like during the summer holiday, long holidays, I would take like a, a week or two off. My friend will take a week of two off. So it's only one week they will be full time in the play club. And we're able to, whoever is off, we drop the children off and play, pick them up. And the other person will come from work and come and pick them. So there's always a way. We Nigerians are very resourceful. It's just to share these ideas. And we should stop being selfish. One other thing I see in Nigeria, in Nigeria parents, really the with the mothers, those of us who are Christian, oh, God forbid, uh, God forbid, it's not my portion, it's Jesus. It's not a matter of not being your portion. We have to back our faith with action. And some people will just be praying, praying for their children, thinking, I tell them, the one thing I tell them in my group, those days when I, the women group I belong to, I said, from the time I have my children, I start praying for their life partner. But it's not just enough. I still try to prepare them. Or how, even my boys, when they were living at home, if they are misbehaved, I tell them, I said, hmm, just dare bring one girlfriend home. I'll be the one that will open your nyash and tell the girlfriend that is it this one you want to go after? If, if you want to marry this boy, if this is how this is how he is, he doesn't know how to do, doesn't know how to do that. That if you marry him, don't come and complain to me. Oh, they will straighten up. I always tell them, I said, what well, even as they were growing up, I tell them, I said, he got to a point. During Mother's Day, I'll tell them, I don't want all those ready-made cards you go and buy in the shop. Maybe on the la on the day of the morning, when you just remember you switch on television, you quickly go and buy a Mother's Day card and just write there, dear mom, thank you. I said, no. I want you to be listening to me. Watch, what, listen to what I actually like throughout the year so that when the time comes to buy me Mother's Day or birthday present, you know what I like. Because if you don't start practicing on me and your sister, where the guinea pigs you have to practice on, so you know how to treat your, your future wives. When the time comes you get married, you have to know how to treat them. You have to learn, learn practice on us. So we really, really have to put, put be, be really practical and be, be, be really intentional. 
and not let them get away with it. And even even though even the even the the whatever the society is putting on them. Let me try and read what Sister Christine said. The guests nowadays are refusing to do all they have to. It's true, definitely they are. Yeah. As a result, the boys have no option but to do it. The guests have seen how stressed their mothers was and refused to be stressed. It's true, it's true. But some mothers and parents are still not helping the matter. Some parents will still uh, tear their guests up and nag and make it a point of duty. Don't you know you're a girl? You know, there are still some Obodo in even Nigeria too, in the cities or even in Obodo but there are still some home they will say, oh, you're a girl. You're a girl. I'm not saying girls have roles to play. I do understand. There are some maternal roles that we need to learn how to do. Yeah, but there are basic human life existence tasks that every human being should know how to do. I'm so sorry, guys. I hope I'm not getting, I'm not too hard on this topic. I'm not, I hope I'm not, I'm not letting out my rant too much. But I just feel sometimes we have to let it out there. Because that's what these platforms are for. We have these social media. We can't just be talking about hairs and jewelry and Timebo's <laughs> egg. <laughs> oh my goodness. Timebo's egg. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. But there are times Timebo needs to me business. Yeah. I'm out as the real grandmother that she is. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Karo Suji. My daughter is, uh, is 15. My African friend found her cooking soup for us, and my friend, my friend was complaining that she's young. I said, "No way! She has to learn." It's true. You have to start teaching them from young. My daughter can still remember when my children were growing up. As I come back in the evening, when I'm cooking dinner, they take turns. Whoever turn is, is follow me to the kitchen. And you know how we Nigerians do on Saturdays when we are when I'm cooking the real soup and stew, they have turns. Whoever Tony is, see, follow me to the kitchen and while I'm cooking the stew, I should blend the tomatoes on me and look, watching how I do things. It doesn't mean, I'm not trying to pride myself that my children are perfect and they can cook everything. They, at least they're able to cook some basic. I said it before, especially my voice. One of, one of some of them, when they are lazy, they don't want to. I said, listen, anything you like to eat in this, I better learn it. Because if you leave my house, you are not phoning me one day. Say, mama, do you cook a goosey soup? You have to pay me before I will teach you. I'm teaching you for free that you don't want to learn. <laughs> but there are still humorous and fun way to I mean, I'm not saying that word right I'm not English person there's still a way you can do this with humor you don't necessarily have to flog them or beat them beat me to them there are gentle ways of letting them know the consequences of their action and they will straighten up yeah if you have just joined and you haven't clicked the like button please hit it for me yeah it's very important for us yeah thank you uh, Carol that's very good teach them young you have to, anything you want your children to do, trust me, you have to teach them from when they are young. But I always say this, we do get things wrong. Sometimes if there's anything you have, you didn't teach them when they are young. Please still make amend and start teaching them. Yeah, anytime you can, they can start learning. Even if they've left home, you realize you didn't teach them, please repair it and don't throw the baby away with the bathwater, as they say in the UK. Yeah, if you made the mistake, they didn't know how to cook, they are not adult, please. Yeah, when you visit them, teach them and apologize. It might be both sides. It might be out, you did out of ignorance. There are things some of us parents did out of ignorance. We didn't know. Yeah? Right. Yeah, that's a Sakaro Suji. Sister Christine, you said, I taught my boys and my daughter's in-law. And yeah, you taught your boys and your daughter-in-law is enjoying the fact that he can, he can cook, bait the children. That's really good. Thank you. And it makes a happy home. That's why I tell people, if your daughter-in-law is happy, you would be a helpful mother-in-law as well. If your daughter-in-law is unhappy with your son, is stressed out, it's not a an unhappy wife cannot raise a, a happy, cannot raise happy daughter, children, uh, grandchildren. You cannot give what you don't have. Yeah? That's very good. Thank you, Sister Christine, for adding your voice and for coming today. I know you are very busy. I know all of you are very busy. Yeah. I really appreciate you honoring my, my live streaming. Because there's so much you can do in live stream you cannot really do on a video. Because on a video, I will just be talking to, talk, just airing my views and you re respond in the comment is good, but this live chat is really helpful. Excuse me, please. Ebon and Jama, I'm still drinking your boiled water. Right. 
Um, tell me, Bessie, hmm, you are right, Mama. Thank you. Thank you for acknowledging that. Then, uh, Luana, you say, you are right, Carol. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Carol, thank you. Yeah, for what you said. But they are, they are never too young to learn. There are gentle ways of, if you can play games with your children, you can play. Uh, I know now they, they spend so much time on their iPad. And so in our time, it was like real proper game. Even, even like, uh, what's it called? Um, Monopoly. I have to learn some to do some of all those things. Like my daughter was so creative. Did you go to the library and go and bring? I never know how to bake. I'm not one of those who is. You know, I know some people enjoy baking. I did. I didn't. I didn't enjoy baking, but I have to learn to bake because of my children. You know. Now that they've left home, I stop baking because I don't want to eat all the cake. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I don't want to eat all the cake. I'm already getting big, you know. So yeah, there are things you you just have to uh, make the make the time and do some certain things to bring the children along. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. What were you saying? Yeah. Somebody said something there. Right. Come, Nelly. Nelly, thank you for coming. Please, if I have not acknowledged you properly, sorry. Don't bear with me. Yeah, hello, Auntie. Thank you, Nelly. I hope you are still here. Children come first because they grow up too far. You are right, definitely. If you are still here, thank you. I hope I haven't answered uh, look at your comment too late. I haven't acknowledged you too later. So please bear with me. Yeah. You you later regret other stuff. You can you later regret other stuff can wait to his family first for me. That's right. Yes, especially when we are Bodo in Bo. We we walk, walk, walk and trying to build this mansion in the village and try to build this big monk, buy this big mortgage. Really, those of you in the US. <laughs> in UK, so people do it too. So bad. we try to buy these big, big houses. And before you bring the children as 18, they are leaving the home, the three or five bedroom house you think you are building. You are now swimming around, your husband swimming around inside it alone. Karosuji, you're right. In 20 minutes, we are going for a picnic free. Yeah, thank you. Just walk and talk. Yeah, thank you. Jackie Rabo, thank you once again for coming to, to, to my live stream. You always try and support me. Our community is not tight. It's not tight anymore. We have gotten away from the home mindset. It's true. But we can still do something. We still try in UK, to be honest. I had a good community that I always think about. It's a, it was a, Christ, it's a Christian community. I see part of them, Oversee Fellowship of Nigeria Christian. We had a strong women group. It was just a replacement for the meeting group that my mom, I used to see my mom enjoy every month to go and join them and dance all their, all their hard work away. They used to look off forward to those meetings and tell those they are up and go and dance with with Tukoise and uh, gong and everything and sing and dance. And even in the evening, they used to have, the African mothers used to be stressed during the day, but you know, they had lots of help. And moreover, in the evening, you see all of them chill in the evening. There was nothing to do. They just chill and chat and really have, that's why they used to manage their distress. They never have all this depression and all the anxiety and stress that we are now lumbered with over in this part of the world. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, the, we can see create the community wherever. We the Zoom now, create some community. If you need help from Auntie Mabel, let me know. Oh, Uju, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Please, any of you, if I did, oh, wow. Ah, these are savage. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. That's my old guest, my boarding schoolmate. I only just sent the post to you just before I went on, on air. Oh, thank you for being here. I'm so proud of you for coming. That was my senior prefect. We called them SP those days. You know, I went to a guest boarding school. Wow, thank you. You made my day. Sorry, all of you are important to me. That's my old God's visit. So, <laughs> you, know, you know, all these old all these friends from childhood, they are very... That's another thing I should tell you, ladies. Hold on to your friends from childhood. They are very important. Nourish those friends. Sonia Duruji, thank you for coming again. I know you do work on Saturday sometimes. All of you, thank you. Thank you for coming. I really do appreciate all of you. Let me just quickly read this uh, chat. So I know it's past the hour now. I'm just going to stress it to about quarter past today because I can see some people are just joining. As I said in the beginning, if you just join, please click the like button for us. It's very important. It creates awareness. And also, please, uh, if you join late, you can always go back and watch from the beginning. I know those in Nigeria, data can be an issue and electricity. My SP, you are retired uh, civil servant now, so you should have enough money for data. <laughs> Oh my goodness, people. <laughs> yeah. Um, so 
let me just please if you have a final thing to say you want me to talk about if a final if there's any part of it i didn't cover please just uh, put it in there because i want to i'm stressing i'm doing another f 10 minutes on top of this yeah because uh, a lot of people join later on i try not to stretch it for too long because i know uh, playback can be a bit uh, costly so let me show you my plant again those of you who came late that's my special plant anyway, if you watch my video you always see that plant in the corner that was one of my birthday gifts from a special friend from my church yeah she's not part of uh, our community but she's really supporting she enjoys the dance videos those uh and the and the Babonelli, all those dancing part of my video she really enjoys she actually she's a teacher she teaches so class. she actually says she enjoys most of my videos yeah, so it's not just people who are from our community that enjoy the videos. I'm going to show a bit of that plant now. I'm so proud of the plant. I like it. I'm keeping it alive so far. Yeah, so yeah. Let me just quickly look in there quickly. Um, Sheshe said, I think there is pressure on our men. That is why men have the highest suicide rate. It's true. There are a lot of uh, that's that's a topic for another day. That's a very deep one, Yeah, there's so much pressure on them. So it's true. We really have to be mindful of that. <clears throat> and our husbands as well. That's an area we should look out for them. I think there's the pressure, on, a lot of pressure on them to achieve. So sometimes, sometimes where we feel they are lazy, even those who who of our generation or who, those of you, those of them who are parents who are seen on, uh, who are not children who are parents already, there is always this this um, expectation to achieve high paying job and all of that it can put a lot of pressure on them. So they rather would not even want to do a, a low class, low low salary job or on ski job. Whereas we women are prepared to do cleaning or what you people call a nursing assistant in UK, in US, I mean, we call it support work here, yeah? while you're training for nursing or social work or teaching or whatever, accounting or being an entrepreneur, whatever you, your job you want to do. Why we're preparing for that? We're prepared to take up any job. But some of them, because of the way they have been raised to be leaders, if they find it very difficult to take up those minor jobs. It's like, it's, even when they do it, it's almost like if they are being dehumanized, it affects their emotional well-being as well and their mental well-being. So this is an area we need to work on as, a, as, a, as mothers and fathers. When the children are young, let them know that you can start from anywhere and make it to the top. You don't have to start to being the principal of a college. You know, you can start from somewhere. Carol, let me quickly read. Oh, yes, yeah, Sonia, thank you very much. I hope you are still there. I hope I didn't acknowledge you too late. Please bear with me. Uh, thank you for coming, Sonia. Yeah, Carol, again, my husband is Igbo. I am proud of my mother-in-law. So, yes, yes, definitely. She taught him everything, cooking, cooking, bat the baby, cleaning, everything. So my daughter has to learn all those things, definitely. And your boy, so I know your baby is still very small. So he, he has good role models. So there's no reason why he wouldn't learn. Yeah? Sorry, guys, the sun is coming in again. I'm just trying to move back a bit. Although I'm enjoying the sunshine. We have some, we've had so much rain this May in this UK. They say apparently it's the wettest May on record for so many, for some, whether for a decade or whatever. You know, they always have all those, their stacks. Uh, Mary May, thank you. That's great. Thank you. Uju, hello, Auntie Mabel. Thank you, my dear sister. I think you live in the US as well. I've got a lot of uh, adopted sisters now all over the world. That's really good. Yeah, that's one good thing that comes out of this YouTube, although it's hard. It's hard work. <laughs> that is the part I enjoy most. This is the part. This is where I can interact with you guys. <laughs> it's better than the rest of it, but it has its own pressure as well. Today, I have to, I got it, even tried to set it up this morning. I got it wrong twice. <laughs> so one of them, I went on live when I was already to go on live. I have to privatize it. Last I private them. Last time I have to delete them. So I'm still I'm still learning on how to set all this up. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mary. said that's great. Would you say hello, Auntie? Thank you, and to Mabel, thank you. Carol said hello, Sonia. Yeah, we are welcoming another of our sister. Yeah, uh, Carol, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you are still here again. Thank you for coming back, Ebo Naja Mama. I always appreciate the way you can. Managed to, you are really loyal. You are a very loyal friend and a loyal person. Thank you. We just pray God will, God will bless you so that you'll be able to 
be what you can do much, do much of the YouTube, yeah? You are really trying. All of us, all of you are trying, no, please. Yeah, I'm just, you guys, those who have watched my video, you watch my video with Ebo Niger Mama. Please go and support my, the GoFundMe page. If you go, if you watch that video I did with her, please, if you scroll down on the, on the comment, there are two comments there. One of them I pinned her video on her channel. Another one that I didn't pin is the Gold For Me page. So please, people should go to the Gold For Me page and support our 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 cause to so buy her keken and pay, buy her and her family keken and pay in Nigeria. If you don't know what keken and pay is, uh, you go if you go on her channel, it was explained. It was actually explained on my channel. I put a picture of it on the video I did with her on the collaboration. Please go and support that Gold For Me. Even if it's just ten dollars, twenty dollars, nothing is too small. Please, I know a lot of you are so busy, you even take time out to watch my videos. So sometimes you don't have time to look at all the comments to see what you are meant to do. Because at the time I we did that video, the Go For Me page wasn't set up. I should have mentioned it in the video. Thank you all very much for doing the thumbs up. It's 20 now. If you haven't thumbs up for me, yeah, please do that. Oh, Uju. Yeah, you're laughing there. Yeah, I'm sure one of the things one you know me, I tell all my jokes. Oh my, oh my, oh my, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope they're actually funny jokes. But anyway, that's something able. And if that make me laugh, I'll laugh. <laughs> we have to laugh, we have to laugh too, but not especially with this pandemic and the lockdown in the UK. We have to learn to laugh. Yeah, Lu Luana, let me quickly say, boys need guidance and re-talk from father to son. Yeah, that's really important. And please, for, for any reason, if they don't have fathers in their life, we know some of some circumstances can't be helped. There must be an uncle or even a, if you belong to any, if you, if you belong to a church, you belong to uh, whatever faith group you belong to, a fa there must be a family member, even your brother, your cousin, or there must be a male person in your life that can, that can see act as that father figure for them. Yeah? But do your due diligence so make sure that they are really genuine they are imparting the good knowledge on them yeah uh, but fathers must fear god first and know their roles as the head of the family definitely the late pastor miles okay miles maro yeah has good sermons of the role of a man yes yeah there are quite a few of them around yeah ebo Niger mama said thank you thank you luana that's a good point i'm sure you have seen all the points and I'm reading them out today for my audience as well. I know some people when they are watching, they are not able to see the live chat, but the live chat is always there in most cases. True, a lot of men are under pressure. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, Jackie Rabo, yes, so yeah, they are under a lot of pressure. We need to support them. Yeah, Ebona Jamama, YouTube, very hard though. Yes, you are right, yeah, that's that, what I said recently, uh, just now, yeah. It is hard, it's hard work, a lot of hard work. Yeah, but at least we are able to get some positive uh, information out there. That's a good thing. So at least or, um, aside this, we wouldn't have been able to do that. Sorry, I'm just leaning back because of the sun. Hope you guys don't mind. Yeah, yeah, the sun is really getting in here now. But I'm enjoying the sun. I think this is the first sun we've had all week. It's been rain, rain, rain. So yeah, coming from the window. That's why I like to do my... <laughs> YouTube in this corner, we are getting a lot of sun and undisturbed. This is the part of the house where I'm undisturbed. I can have my own space. Yeah, it's a very great session. Thank you. Thank you. I'm <laughs> You come with this, you're dancing with you guys, ladies, again. I'm Thank you for joining us. But you have to watch this as a playback, please, because we are winding down now. I'm trying not to make it too long. The first two live streaming I did, I dragged it on so much because some people were still joining Why it was time for me to go. I didn't want to let them down. But I realized when it's on playback, it's hard for people to stay for that long. So, yeah, it's good to just um, cut it. Yeah, it's all right, Amaka. Thank you for even showing your presence. Please hit the like button now that you are here. Hit the like button. Oh, Sinachi, thank you, Bibi Che. It was amazing. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you watch playback. Hit the like button before you go, Amaka. It was 20 before you joined. If you haven't hit it yet, hit it. I hope you can sit on your gadget. If not, when you finish, you can still go and hit it later on. Yeah, thank you very much, ladies. I'm going to be winding down. I did say I will stretch it to quarter past. So, yeah, please just put the final word there for us before I say goodbye to everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. And if you want to suggest a topic, I know last time I did suggest whether I should do 
polygamy and it was a thumbs up. But I just felt I should do this uh, boy child and get child. And it's good to always balance things. Otherwise, I have a solicitor in the house, my daughter. She's not a professional solicitor, but she's justice oriented. She will always say, you have to have a balanced view. Don't be sexist. So in as much as we don't, we don't say because we are trying to uh, repair what the men did by being sexist to the women, we don't have to go overboard to the other way and leave the men on the other hand, because not all men are in that, in that group, in the camp of being so sexist to women. So yeah, so I was just reflecting, I didn't even discuss it with her, but I just have a thought, I just said, no, I need to present this other view of uh, the men, to the men being victim and being, uh, rather than being male hero. So let's work hard to make them who they are and not put them on the pedestal to make them heroes and uh, that they end up being a feel that life is demanding too much from them. And at the same time, let's look at their talent and not put a, pe a, a round peg, a, a, a square pe a peg in a round hole. Whatever their talent is, let's nurture it as parents, as aunties and uncles in their life. Let's nurture what they have, yeah? And don't, and, don't, and don't do damage their emotions by expecting too much from them. Rather than saying, oh, you have to be uh, a whatever, a pilot, or you have to be an aeros uh, engineer, or you have to be a doctor. When they don't, they're not really interested in the job because we want them to have that big position. All we are preparing for is they have to achieve high position and not have to be able to manage their emotions and be a real father, a real uh, husband in, their, in the future. Looking forward to the next session. Oh, thank you, Luana. Thank you. It was well prepared. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your effort. Oh, yeah, you're telling me well prepared. Thanks for your efforts. Appreciated. Oh, thank you, all of you. Can't wait for the next one. Good job, Auntie Carol Sosuji. Thank you all very much, my people. And we are going to be winding down now. As you know, Auntie Mabel takes time to type. <laughs> type her thank you. Even her simple thank you. My take her some time to type. I'm just going to move this back a bit so that the sun. Yeah, I'm going to say thank you to all of you. And those of you are still watching, yeah, that's my goodbye drink. We raise the, raise the mug now. Thank you, all of you. I hope you have your drink with you. So, toast. Mm. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you all for your participation. I really I really appreciate all of you because uh, it can be tough when you're setting up this uh, live stream. You don't show who will turn up. So, it can be difficult if you set it up and no one is turning up. Thank you, all of you. And please go and watch the rest of my video so and get your friends and family to, to subscribe. I'm still pushing. I'm going to be one year on Wednesday. I'm still pushing as much as possible to reach, to see if I can reach. If all of you here get 10 people to subscribe, I will reach that, uh, I will reach that uh, number. I'm still on that 900. So I have about uh, 140 to go and about... Uh, 700 watch hours, so it's doable. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm not going to give up. <laughs> thank you all, Amaka. Thank you. Thank you all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sister Christy. Thank you for supporting me. Oh, yeah. Thank you, <laughs> Amaka. You and this year. I need to come and learn all this emoji from you. You even have your emoji for your drink, for your toast. <laughs> I need to go and be reading more. Because of you, I'm even trying to reduce more emojis on my, on my things now. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm so happy for all of you turning up. Yeah. Thank you all for your support. I'll see you all next week. Thank you. Oh, okay. There's even emoji on this phone. No, I'm going to leave that today. <laughs> Thank you all for your support. Oh, wow. Thank you. I can get to, I can see all the emojis now. Even my sister Christina have joined the group. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all very much. <laughs> yeah, bye, Carol. Carol, thank you. I saw your message. I will try and get back to you. Today has been a busy day for me. This is the third, this is the fourth meeting I'm doing today. I started by Sister Christine Women's Breakfast at 10:30. I joined uh, another program at 11. 
Uh, then uh, I joined one at three, where I was a panel, I'm part of the panel. Yeah. Oh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, all of you. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a busy, but it's been very fulfilling day to be honest. And thank you all for all your support. I really do appreciate it. I do appreciate all of you. Yeah, it can be a bit difficult if you if you have a live stream and nobody's turning up. Oh, thank you, Sister Christine. Thank you for coming and for staying all through. All of you, thank you. Even those you joined halfway, and those who started from the beginning, I do appreciate all of you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all. Oh, yes. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> Auntie Mabel has to keep pushing now. I have to keep pushing. Yes, yeah, really now that I'm joining YouTube in the, in the later years, so I need to start pushing. Uh, all right, now. Goodbye, everyone. I'm going to end the live streaming. I say shame. I still have 11 people watching. This one, I don't like to end it, but uh, I have to. I have to rather than just drag it on, other people watching back, it will be hard for them. Yeah. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye now. I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it now. Thank you. See you all next week. Hmm. Why is it? Okay. It's ending it.